James Madison was short, shy, and surrounded by legends. His best friend was Thomas Jefferson, and his wife Dolly was a famous hostess, so it's easy to forget that he was a superstar in his own right. James was a brilliant student of government. At the Constitutional Convention in 1787, he helped set up the federal system we know and love. As a member of the first Congress, he introduced the Bill of Rights to make sure that system wouldn't trample individual liberty. Madison was President Jefferson's Secretary of State, and he was elected president in 1809 to continue the Democratic Republican Party's policies, which favored weaker federal government and a tiny military. But those policies might have gone too far. American merchants had been getting roughed up by the British Navy for years, and things got so bad the War of 1812 broke out. Madison wasn't a charmer. He couldn't convince Congress to fork over enough resources for the war. The British burned Washington, D.C. in 1814, and some New England states even threatened to secede from the U.S. There was eventually a peace treaty, and the Industrial Revolution helped the economy improve. By then, Madison had learned one last lesson. Weaker federal government can have its drawbacks.